on Monday this week, I got Invisalign, as you can hear it in my voice. Let's just call it Invisalign. That way you know the side effects of wearing them up front. Yeah, let's just call it Invisalign. Why would we do that? That way you don't have to explain it, you know? Normally people would say, hey, I'm lisping because I have Invisalign, right? That way you can just say Invisalign and they just get it. Like, oh, Invisalign. That's why they're lisping. Get it? Get it? Anyway, so because of the Invisalign, I was a little bit self-conscious about the lisp. I was a little bit unmotivated to make a video, so I thought I'll just make my Invisalign into a video. That's a healthy way of dealing with self-consciousness, right? I'm feeling so self-conscious because of this list. Make a video about it. So that's what I'm going to do. The main reason why I'm doing this video today is number one, to get over my own self-consciousness of my list, which is happening right now, and also to share my experience with anyone who is thinking of getting Invisalign, has gotten Invisalign, and is just looking for someone to share their journey with. Let's just get started with why I got Invisalign. Um, my teeth have always been something that I've always been a little bit conscious about. Particularly, I was very self-conscious about them as I was growing up, as I started to notice that straight teeth are more desirable. And I never let that hold me back. Um, I have had confidence to push through that and never let me not having straight teeth affect my confidence. But still it's something, you know, that always kind of lingers in the back of your head because you start seeing all these people with straight teeth all around you. Regardless of that, that wasn't something that I let hold me back. So I pushed through those things and I've had my fair share of comments made as a kid. Kids are just so mean. <laughs> and comments as an adult. But it was something that I knew that once I was able to afford it, I will go for it and get it fixed. So fast forward into my second job out of college. Yes, I was lazy the first time around, but then I was like, okay, I really need to get it done. So I immediately, like last year, went to the dentist and it wasn't like I showed up at the dentist's office and he said, great teeth, let's get Invisalign right now. No, there was like quite a few things that needed to be fixed in my mouth. So I had to get a root canal, I had to get my wisdom teeth out, and they also found a tumor in my jaw, which had to be removed and were currently in the process of monitoring it. So all these things had to be done and the reason why there were so many issues with my teeth, as much as I hate to say this, you have to say it, <laughs> as a kid, um, dental aesthetics were not on the top of my parents' list of priorities for me. So, you know, it took a lot of like, my teeth are extremely crowded and when I was growing up, it was called as cute. So. Of course, me being a kid, I was always like, yeah, my teeth are so unique and different. And I just like had this air about me and just be, yeah, my teeth are so different looking than anyone else's. But as you grow up and you become an adult and you start facing all these problems, um, <laughs> you start finding out that maybe because straighter teeth are less crowded, it's also better for you health-wise. So, you know, maybe I wouldn't have half of these issues if I had straighter teeth but I have these issues and I'm an adult and I can do something about it. So I made the decision to do something about it as soon as I could. Since last year, there's been several steps to basically get my mouth healthy enough so that we can put Invisalign or braces on it so, so that my teeth can handle the pressure basically. And I'm finally happy to have gotten it done. Well, apparently my cat Pixie will be chilling with us over here. Okay, so where was I? Just for the first week so far, I've already seen a little bit of a change in how my teeth are. It's not anything big, but you can start seeing your teeth shift. The biggest hassle is, of course, like brushing your teeth and flossing your teeth and cleaning out your retainers every time you eat food. I'm not sure how serious other people are about this, but I'm extremely serious about washing my trays out every single time I take them off and eat food because I'm spending good money and I've spent a lot of money to get my teeth in a healthy enough condition to go through this process and I'm not going to mess it up. And because of that, because of the cleaning out the trays and brushing your teeth and flossing your teeth every time you eat, 
it's been really good that I have also snacked a lot less. So I have this habit of snacking between meals and I don't do that anymore because I know for a fact that I would need to brush my teeth, floss my teeth and do all of these things and clean up my trays and whatnot every time I eat. So I only eat twice a day and I make sure to time my meals for an hour each and that's the only time I eat and all I drink is water throughout the day. You really can't be eating and then expect to just put on your retainers because I don't think that's healthy. I think all the sugar and whatever is trapped in your teeth and if you're not brushing your teeth and taking care of your teeth, I think that's just a cause for decay. I might be more paranoid than anyone else because I have spent way too much money to get my teeth in a healthy enough condition. Now, because you salivate a lot, you will tend to drink a lot more water. So hydration wise, I have upped my game as well because you know, you're salivating a lot more and you have to drink more water. And because of the saliva buildup, there might be this weird thing and let me know if you've encountered it because I just did like two days ago. And it's something called a mucosil, which is basically your saliva. Oh shit, pixie was this weird bubble thing in the back of my mouth and it sort of just popped out of nowhere so basically in the morning i felt this little tiny bump in the back of my mouth and i thought oh it's probably nothing you know like those weird things you get in your mouth so not a big thing and within like a couple of hours as i was starting to eat and feeling around my mouth again it was sort of like this big bump and of course like I freaked out because my mind goes to the worst possible outcome of what it could be and I start touching it with my clean washed hands by the way and it just pops it just like pop, just popped it literally felt like it was a bubble that my mouth created and I looked into it a little bit and it and I checked with my ortho about it and it's just something called a mucosil which is basically your salivary glands getting blocked due to excess saliva or getting damaged. So I did think it was because of that. Now the one thing that helped me with that was saltwater gargles and that's because mine was like a little bit back in my mouth. So I had to gargle so that it would get and clean up that area a bit more and that's the only thing that has happened to me so far other than this weird boba tea ball that popped in my mouth and the lisp which we're figuring out right now and which i'm sure i'll get over it in a couple of days but that's why we're doing this so other than those two things i don't think i have anything to complain about and these two things are so minor for me that i don't even really care and i'll get over it in a bit so it's been a great process so far. Now if you want to hear more about my experience and if this is something that interests you, please let me know in the comments so I know to make a video about it. And for those of you who watch me, I hope this adds a little bit more context into why I'll be lisping for the next couple of videos or all the videos. I have no idea how long this lisp will last. But I hope this adds a bit more context. I hope you can bear with me as I lisp through it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. So oh, if this is some I'm just laughing at myself like a crazy person.